Hello, dear class. Today we learn fraction addition, 分数的加法。第一题，五分之一加五分之三。The denominator is the same. The bottom part is the same. We can go directly. Bottom is five, and the top first number plus second number. One plus three is four, and this is the result. Oh, oh, no need to change anything. Second, the same thing. Six 分之一加六分之五 So the bottom is the same. Denominator is the same. Copy it, and the, the top one plus five is six. Six over six is a whole. Is one. So whenever you get a result, try to make it as、um, simple as possible. The simplest fraction or mixed number, whichever way you need to change. Now we see the third example. Okay. This is a、uh, uh, one over eight plus three over eight. So the denominator is the same. Go ahead, write it down. One plus three is four, and now we can simplify, which is half. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Now we will do something different. When we have the denominator is different. First question. So five over two. Plus, no, two over five. I always speak in the way of Chinese. Two over five, plus three over ten. Three over ten. So <clears throat> the denominator is the same. We need to do some treatment for this matter. We need to make the denominator the same. In fraction, it means the unit. Should be the same. It divided. It's like I eat a pizza. I eat one slice of pizza, and the one slice is whole, and it's not the same as you eat a slice. Here is a slice. If you cut into two parts, your one slice, this is half of it, and this is one eighth of it. So you need to make sure the unit is the same, right? So here. The denominator is this, is not the same. They didn't divide it into the same part, so we need to make it the same. So five times two makes ten. Okay, we are equal on the denominator, but for this number, whenever you time a number on the bottom, you have to time the same number on top. Whenever you time. One number on top, you have to time the same number on the bottom. It should be increased proportionally, the same number by time by the same number. So now we can do the bottom is five times two is ten, ten. So it is the same number. We write it down. Two times two is four, four plus three is seven, and that is it. Question number two, fifteen and、um, four. Four over fifteen plus、uh, this one we do uh, five. Okay, uh, two over five. So fifteen and five. You need to time one number. Five times three is fifteen. Bottom times three, top times three. So the result is bottom denominator is fifteen. Four plus six is ten. Now we can simplify it into both divided by five. Divided by five. So ten. You time a number. Time the same number. Divide the number. You divide the same number. So ten divided by five is five.、Uh, two. Fifteen divided by five is three. Okay. One more. Shall we do it? Okay. Ah,、uh, ninety-six. 
and this is 5. 5 over 96 plus mm -hmm, 24. And uh, uh, 2, uh, no, 7. 7 over 24. So 24 and 96. 24 times 4 is 96. You know it, right? So you time 4 on the bottom, you have to time 4 on top. So it becomes 96 is the denominator. 5 plus 27, this becomes a new number, 28, not, not 27. I just, uh, in, in English, I didn't say it right. Times uh, 7 times 4 is 28, so it becomes 33. Ooh, that is very interesting. Now they become both becomes the, <clears throat> the both can be simplified, divided by three, divided by three. So the result is 32 as denominator and numerator is 11. Make sense? Okay, so now we have another problem, which the denominator and numerator is not the same. One, two, three, three questions. But they are related. 15, uh, 2. 2 over 15 plus 35. And this one we give it a 4. 4 over 35. So <clears throat> we can write it down like this. You do not need to 15 times 35. Because they both have a common factor. So... The simple way you can write it like this. Actually, you do not need if you are too good. 3 times 5. Did I change a number? I didn't change a number, right? 3 times 5 is 15. Is 15. And this one, 35, can become 5 times 7. And 4 is 4. I am exactly copying the same number, just written in a different way. Now we can find both have 5, 3, and this need a 7 times a 7, right? So 3, 5, 7. And this here, we need to time 3. So 3, 5, 7. 3, 5, 7. Okay, so bottom times 7, top times 7. Bottom times 3, top times 3. So... It becomes 21 times 5 is 105. Okay? 3721. 21 times 5 is 105. And this one is 14. And this one is 12. Altogether becomes 26. So this is the result. Okay? No more simplification to be done. Okay, we make another number. Okay, this one will be 40, 42, let's say, 42, and 5 over 42 plus mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 48, 48, and this is 7 over 48. So, with the same thing, when you are more comfortable, you do not need to write it down. But you know, this is a 6 times 7. This is 6 times 8. So I write it down. 6 times 7, 5 over 6 times 7. 6 times 7, 42. And this one we write in another way. 6 times 8, 7. Why do I not dismantle into 2 times 3 times 7, 2 times 3 times 4 times 4. You do not need. You only need to find the common factor. Okay, 6 and 7, now I time 8. 6 and 8, now I time 7, right? So when you time a number on the bottom, you have to time exactly the same number on top. When you time a number on the bottom, you have to time exactly the same on top. So, 6 times 7 times 8. I will keep on writing. 6 times 7 times 8. And this one becomes 5 times 8 is 40. 
and seven times seven, 49. So becomes 89, 89. And there's no common factors in it. And, uh, and it cannot be simplified any further. So this is the result. 六七四十二乘以八. Now I need to do the work. This is 42 times 8. 二八十六四八三十二三十三. So the result is 89 over 336. So they are related. They are related. 42 and 48 are related. Why do I do this? Because when you have bigger number, try to find how they are related. Otherwise, 6, 42 times 48 will become too big a number. Try to find the shortcut. It's not using tricky, tricky number. This is not a math trick. Some school does not allow teacher to say trick in math class. This is not a trick. This is a pure logic. This is when you understand the number, when you have a good number sense, all numbers are related. Okay. Okay. Here we have another question. 五分之三, 3 over 5 plus 七分之四. 5 and 7, there is no relation. So we need to find a number that connect these two. How about 5 times 7? Times 7. I, I need to use my pinky color. <laughs> and 7 times 5, right? So the bottom becomes both 35. It's the same. Bottom times 7, top times 7. Bottom times 5, top times 5. So it becomes 5 times 7 is 35. And this one is 21 and this one is 20 so all together 41 and this is an improper fraction we are good moral people we do not allow improper things happen so even including improper fraction we change into mixed number properly so one and how many 35 goes into 41? One, right? And never, ever, ever, never change the bottom. And the remainder, right? Remainder is 6. And that is the result. Okay, now let's do the last one. So 3 over 8 plus um, 7 over 9. The bottom is not the same. Make it the same. Make it the same. When it is not the same, actually, it's relatively simple when they are not related. You just time the other number. Not like this. They are related, but you need to find the number, the relating number, which is a 6, and find the difference. Do I make any sense at all? Bottom time a number, top time a number. Okay, so the bottom denominator will be 8972. And this one we write it down, 3927, And add together 3, 5加2等于7等于8,再加1等于8. So, <coughs> This is improper. We are good moral people, so we do not allow improper things to happen, even in mathematics. So, how many goes into, how many 72 goes into 83? One goes into 83. Never, ever, ever, never change the bottom, 72, and the remainder is 11. Write it down. So, that is it. Thank you very, very much. I know it is too long, but was it?